So we are going to talk about the principle 5 which is active learning. So active learning is any type of learning activity that involves student participation or interaction. So one of the major activities that takes place in this principle includes peer interaction. So there is a collaboration among students. They learn best through peer interactions in which they work together creatively and collaboratively to in order to solve problems. So next is the second language, active learning. So here, students now adapt activities that require physical movement in order to effectively acquire another language. So they begin with hear, see, do, or the TPR activities. And the last is the purposeful talk. It is said that talking helps us make sense of new ideas and information. So it, is, it creates an environment that incorporates skills such as collaboration and communication, which helps students prepare for the real-world situation. So how do you do this inside a classroom? Well, to have peer interaction, the teacher can make class activities in teams or pairs. For example, when teaching about the water cycle, the students can work in pairs to create a diagram demonstrating the different stages of the water cycle wherein they are able to discuss, compare, and exchange ideas to solve problems. And then, for second language active learning, the teacher can employ a hear, see, do activities like TPR or total physical response. A great scenario for that is when introducing a new vocab related to the daily routines in English, the teacher can say stand up while demonstrating the action. And then, the students will observe the teacher and then respond by standing up, like this one. Stand up! Stand up! And of course, the teacher can ask higher level questions to create a purposeful talk. For example, the teacher can ask the students to analyze a character's motivation in a story during an English lesson. And then the students will have the opportunity to think their answers first before discussing their ideas in small groups wherein they can share their insights. In general, active learning enables students to collaborate. It can be in a creative manner or just simply brainstorming. It also allows them to acquire confidence in learning a new language and make sense of new concepts and facts. Students that adopt this strategy will benefit from a variety of outcomes, including an improvement in their ability to collaborate, think critically, and solve problems while they interact with a certain topic. By working on any mode of activities, it can help them to reinforce knowledge, concept, and skill, as well as an increase in learning retention and engagement. Additionally, they will get more motivated by being ready ahead of time and more confident in their efforts. And that's all about principle number five, which is active learning.